Malamud's Revolution, How Financial Asset Derivatives Conquered the World Let's go back to the 20th century. Leo Malamud came up with the idea of hedging currency risks with the help of futures. When he took over the management of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, it was in a deep crisis. Malama started by trading futures on pork bellies, which were used to make bacon. This activity was not considered prestigious or profitable. And as CME CEO, he began looking for ways to reform the way the exchange operated. A unique chance presented itself in 1971, and Malama seized the opportunity. The United States abandoned the gold standard for the national currency, which shook the world currency markets. That's when Malamud came up with the idea of hedging not only agricultural but also currency risks with the help of futures. CME currency futures introduced in 1972 were the first derivative financial instruments not aimed at ordinary commodities but for other financial instruments. Wall Street laughed at Malamud. But Malamud dismissed the venomous jokes and lectured about the potential of the new instrument. He even fought his way through the government for legislative support. He didn't miss his next chance either. After 10 years in 1982, with the start of a strong bullish period, he introduced index futures, which provided excellent returns on these derivatives. Thus, in the 1980s, derivatives on financial assets became a basic tool for traders. Melamed won. He created a new market, and as it turned out, it opened up huge opportunities for speculative trading. How did the modern history of financial markets take form and what prospects await us in the future? We'll tell you about this in the next video. Stay tuned!